So here is the setup for the nuclear magnetic resonance demonstration. The first thing I've got is a power source. The second thing is a magnetic domain indicator, which is representing the spins in the hydrogen atoms in your body. I've got three different types, one with a light oil, one with a heavy oil, and one with very viscous glycerin. Then I have the Helmholtz coils, which is powered by the power source, and the Helmholtz coils represents the donut-shaped uh, apparatus of a magnetic resonance imager. Inside the Helmholtz coil, we have a famous scientist as a medical phantom, and he's sitting on the gantry. Finally, I have a bar magnet which represents the radio frequency pulse. Now for the demonstration of nuclear magnetic resonance, I'm going to have to remove our medical phantom first and introduce a magnetic domain indicator which is going to show us different uh, materials in our body or different tissues in our body and how they react to the magnetic field in a Helmholtz coil of a magnetic resonance imaging machine. Once we turn on the magnetic field for the Helmholtz coil, you can see that the spins inside the body will all align with that field. Now I'm going to introduce a radio frequency pulse and you can see the spins will react to that. And once I switch off the radio frequency pulse, the spins will go back to their original position, realigned with the Helmholtz coil of the NMR machine. The time it takes for them to go back to the original alignment is called relaxation time. Now I'm going to use a different tissue. And once again, we'll turn on the uh, magnetic field. And the majority of the spins will align. Now when I say spins, I'm actually talking about protons inside hydrogen atoms that do behave very much like little compass needles like you see there. Once again, I'll introduce a radio frequency pulse and you can see the spins reacting or resonating with that radio frequency pulse. And again, I take away or switch off the radio frequency pulse and the spins will realign with the magnetic field of the Helmholtz coil. This relaxation time, as you can see, was a lot slower than the first one. I'll introduce a third tissue now into the NMR demonstration. And again, we're going to turn on the magnetic field of the Helmholtz coil and the spins align once again. I'm going to turn on the radio frequency pulse and again, the spins will react to that radio frequency pulse. In actuality, what they're doing is they're resonating. What to, to demonstrate that, what I would have to do is I would have to move the magnet in and out with a frequency that resonates with those compass needles. This is just a demonstration. Once I turn the magnet, the radio frequency pulse off, the spins will realign themselves again with the Helmholtz coil with a far slower relaxation time than the two previous examples. Each of these different materials have different relaxation times, just as each of the different tissues in our body have different relaxation times. We have a very fast relaxation time with air, slower relaxation time with the light oil, slower again with the heavy oil, and very slow with the glycerin. I'll leave it up to you to figure out which parts of the body are analogous to these different materials. The important thing to remember with this demonstration is that it's a model. And just with all models in science and physics, there are inaccuracies and misconceptions. This is not the full story of how T1 relaxation works, or in fact T2 relaxation, which is a completely different issue. 
The important thing to remember is that this is a model for physics. And just like all models in physics and science, there are inaccuracies which lead to possible misconceptions. But it is a good model. And hopefully this model will give you an insight into how we can distinguish different tissue types inside a magnetic resonance imager.